Okay, so I thought I'll write it down in the word pieces or teams. This planet does not belong to human beings, or in other ways, modern humans are not native to Earth. And let me just increase. Hmm. Modern humans are not native to Earth. My source is the uh, searcher files, Bible. I think the Bible is the origin story with some modifications. It's telling a lot of truth here. Um, now, there is this video I saw, which was very good, very insightful. Talking about Antarctica and the uh, Deep State, Cabal, Deep State, Cabal, Breakaway, Civilization, apparently this started from the 16, late, onwards. This is a good video on that. Um, uh, yeah, I think that video is going to now. I believe the no, I, I, I um. Someone, someone gave nukes to modern humans. Someone gave nukes. Who gave, who gave new these nukes? To modern humans and why did they give it to them? Why? I believe the nukes, nuclear technology nukes, they, uh, you know, the This is where I'm having a bit of a trouble because I think, I believe the Elohim, which are the Nordics, um, the Aldebarans, which are ETs, Aldebaran ETs. Um, Aldebarans gave nukes to the Nazis 
which were then uh, given to the Americans the United States uh, in order to blackmail the native inhabitants of Earth. <laughs> the Elohim are extraterrestrials. The gods of the Bible Uh, uh, the Elohim, they, they, those are the gods of the Bible, are the Elohim. Um, uh, the Elohim, John these the eighties, created humans, uh, which they use as a slave race to colonize it Earth. colonize Earth. perhaps terraform it to become like a planet they were used to. Maybe they wanted the... Uh, I think the Elohim... I think the Elohim preferred the uh, uh, cold climate. Uh, Anyway, humans started to multiply. Since they did not have any free will, they did not have the knowledge of good or evil, they were useful slaves and maybe perhaps soldiers. This caused a problem, a problem with the local, with the natives who did not like what the Elohim were doing. So the natives are the reptilians of Earth, Terran reptilians. Uh, they can be thought of as, so they can be Thought of as the serpent in the Bible. In order to, in order to attack or subvert the Elohim plans to honor, to conquer it and terraform. Earth. Uh, the reptilians perhaps made a clone of humans who had who had the knowledge 
of good and evil. Maybe another way to say is this maybe they made may another way to say that maybe that they made these initial humans more intelligent. Although I'm not sure if that's the right word. But they had a capacity to which this made humans more rebellious. Uh, th so the this is why the God had all these problems with. Uh, well, I mean, the gods of the Bible, the Elohim. Okay, I'm just going to go. I'm not. I don't want to go into details. I just want to go and spell out the big theory, the the general theory. So the so the, the Elohim uh, and the reptilians. Have been in constant conflict with each other throughout human history. It goes perhaps to several hundreds, thousands of years. Um, I should read that section. Uh, this conflict, even today. So let's talk about the nukes. The Elohim gave the Nazis and later the Americans the nukes in order to intimidate the reptilians and tell them that uh, you know we gave, we gave these humans these nukes and uh, you know <laughs> and the the humans will blow earth up if you try to fight us because i don't think the reptilians have a, a high in number the humans are there are billions of humans but i don't think there are that many reptilians and and i don't think there are that many that many elohim either but they're using humans these two non-human species are using humans as cannon fodder to fight over control of Earth. I think this is what's going on. But there, there might be other complications. I think you might have other alien species interacting at the moment. Maybe the greys are a different species. Um, Oh, the greys could actually be like androids created by reptilians uh, to interact with humans. It's possible that some of these beings are uh, live in other dimensions, uh, and and they they use these android greys to interact with humans in the material realm, whereas they live in other dimensional realms. Um, there's a <sighs> so humans, humans are uh, very, very, I don't know what. Humans, humans are in a very difficult place. 
And this is, uh, okay, this is a quote from the Bible. Like, oh, we are fighting a, a powers and principalities. And if you look at Kennedy, I also had a quote about there's a, a ruthless conspiracy uh, that, you know, there's the deep state. Uh, Kennedy, Kennedy had a quote on that, like, you know, I think Lahaina, 9-11, you know, 9-11, Lahaina, the October 2017, Vegas shooting, uh, I do believe we even, anyway, are just some of the events orchestrated by this breakaway group. Uh, my question is this, this is, this is a problem, this is a question I have. Uh, I wonder where the the Elohim are extraterrestrials. They don't belong. They want to colonize Earth. The reptilians are the natives of Earth, but both are using humans. You see all these different human races uh, who are fighting with each other, but they're they're both all being used as soldiers uh, to fight over control of planet Earth. This is what I, I think, this is what's going on. So I'm not sure who are the good guys, who are the bad guys, you know, because cause like I said, it's possible that because of a, due to human lack of psychic, capability or suppression we cannot see these beings so they operate in the shadows the powers and principalities you know the forces of darkness behind that kind of an idea so I'm not sure what to do. I don't know how human beings are going to uh, deal with this. I believe humans are... You know, are being used, manipulated, used to... And, and, and we, are, we, are, we lack the hardware to perceive these beings and they can control us and manipulate us. Not only are we manipulated by our human institutions, such as the media, government, academia, that's, that's just the human manipulation, but there is this other in manipulation, the psychic manipulation through the, uh, through the technology of consciousness. <laughs> consciousness can be seen as a technology that's used to control us. So the idea that we are like biobots, you know, this is another theme. We humans can be conceived of as the virus or invaders of planet Earth. You know how there's this fear that humans are being uh, like the aliens want to invade the earth and uh, alter our DNA and take over. That's the, um, based on the assumption, the assumption that humans, that we are, we belong on this planet. But I think the takeover has already happened and we are the uh, invading force and we are the one, you know, the natives, they've gone underground. 
because they don't want to have a, a direct kinetic war uh, with the Elohim because I think in the plot in the past you know the great flood uh, I think when there is a kinetic war between these aliens and the you know these non-human species uh, planet has, has suffered a lot and lots of humans have died so we're in a kind of a real cold war where they they're fighting using us but they don't want to fight each other directly um and you know world war one and two was kind of like uh this this fight and you know the nukes were introduced they gave the the extraterrestrials the elohim they gave humans nukes and they were going to use that to intimidate the natives the the reptilians of the earth into not fight because you know humans are stupid enough to nuke the planet okay <laughs> humans will do something like that so the reptilians know that humans can be easily manipulated so they're playing a very delicate the, the, delicate game you know because they know the humans are easy to manipulate so the humans have the nukes the elohim gave them the nukes so uh, you know that was by design so they could terrorize the uh reptilian into into submission or the, told them you better go back down into the earth or you better not you know and i think the reptilians decided to fight back by making connections with certain parts of the American government or other governments. And uh, so this is the question I have. I don't know if the deep state, the ones who did 9-11, Lahaina and all of that, I don't know if they are the bad guys. I think the deep state, the cabal, uh, the ones who want to implement the new world order, this global government, they might be actually, they might simply be working for the reptilians because the reptilians want to regain control of planet Earth. Because right now, planet Earth is under the dominion of humanity surface humanity and surface humanity is controlled by these elohim uh, i think humans are being suppressed or you know they're easy to control and the elohim by giving the uh uh the elegant the the elohim are controlling planet Earth through surface humans by giving surface the Elohim intimidate uh, or bully the rep Italian natives to go underground and not start a kinetic war for fear the humans will nuke the planet which is their home um humans are since humans are easy to manipulate and control the reptilians have to play a clever delicate game the reptilians do not want to start a kinetic war uh, because they this planet is theirs they don't want this planet to be nuked because i think something like that happened on mars because there are pyramids on mars and face on mars and i think something like that might have happened there 
um, but that might have happened, you know, millions and millions of years ago. Um, anyway, there's there, there's sort of some there's a, here's some information about that. Um, the deep state cabal might not be the bad guys in this scenario. The deep state wants to... What does the deep state want? They want control over humanity. The deep state wants control over humanity. They want to control humans. Why? Because humans have the nukes. Humans have the nukes. The reptilians want to control humans because humans have the nukes and the, and then they don't want they don't want the humans to blow up the planet because this planet belongs to them, not to the humans. The humans are the invaders who were created by the Elohim to colonize uh, Earth. Do you get it? We humans are the actual invaders. So we might be unknowingly, unwittingly being manipulated and used by the Elohim to, uh, you know, to fight the reptilians, you know. Uh, and the reptilians, you know, because they don't have a, a lot of numbers, the reptilians created their own human hybrids. Reptilians created their own human hybrids. And I think these are the non-white races, I'm going to say, uh, to fight the humans created by the Elohim, which are the white people, <laughs> especially the Germans, the Anglo-Saxons. I think the, I think the Slavs, Slavs and the Chinese might be different ET races or uh, derivatives. The ET race, ET, different ET race human hybrids. Um. And as you see in that video I linked to about, why are uh, white, why are Western white countries being uh, invaded <laughs> by colored people? people? The reptilians, the deep state, the ones perhaps living underneath Antarctica, which which was a place where apparently it's still cold or whatever. Uh, they could be living in Antarctica under the ice, under in caverns everywhere. Um, and why is the southern border in the U.S. open so much, you know, why are all these people flooding in from the south to the north? This is a reptilian plan to fight the uh, Elohim uh, humans. Um, This is my theory. Anyway, um, I guess the point I want to make is I don't know if the deep state cabal, if they're actually the bad guys. From the point of view of humans, humans who are all brainwashed by the, you know, like real religion, Christianity, Judaism, the humans will consider the anyone, I mean, humans are, will consider the reptilians to be the bad guys. 
but the, actually the, the, the reptilians might actually still they might simply be defending their own territory their own planet against these elohim extraterrestrials uh, and humans are like totally clueless they don't understand like how they're being manipulated uh, so maybe there are maybe there are people you know, it said that Obama is a reptilian and Clinton is a reptilian. And I think if people were told the truth, uh, like how they are being, humans are being used by these other non-human beings uh, to act as mercenaries, maybe humanity will uh, stop allowing itself to be so... Or were so so manipulated, man. <laughs> um, <sighs> my thoughts. Um, yeah. So things might not be as it seems, you know. Like if you look at nine eleven, look at Lahaina. It looks like such a horrible thing. These reptilians are the bad guys. They're you know. But there might be things going here which I'm not aware of. There might be a bigger context, and you know I'm just trying to make sense of what's going on. I guess the the main idea is that humans are being used and manipulated by non-human intelligences over control of planet Earth, and add into this there might be other ET races and other species who who might not even who might not even be involved in this war who might just be i don't know visitors or something um yeah, i'll just leave it there some thoughts yeah there's a kennedy quote you know the about the conspiracy let me see if I can get that. Um... There a quote. Oh, here we go. Oh, here's it. Oh, uh, here is it. Well, we are opposed around the world by a monolithic and goodness conspiracy that relies primarily on COVID means for expanding its sphere of influence. And there's that quote by uh, that Senator Inouye who talks about like a shadow government uh, with its own Navy and uh, army, you know. There is a there is a deep state. There is a breakaway civilization. My question is, I don't know if these guys these are the actual bad guys. I just want I just want humans to be. I don't want humans to. Uh, humans are being used. I don't. I I think we need to be told the truth. We need to be told the truth about our history and in all of these there's all this advanced technology that this breakaway civilization has they might have all these ufos and all of these things uh, you know flying around and you know free energy healthcare. you know putin recently said that they found a cure to cancer i think they already always had this cure to cancer but they might have just used it as a means to uh, make money through the pharmaceutical industry um, so these, you know, I don't, I'm not, I'm not saying the reptilians are a friend of humans, you know, I don't, I'm not saying that, but there is a war that is being fought between 
non-human intelligences and humans are being used as cannon fodder. You know, we're being used as a resource uh, to, to terraform the planet as slave labor, as soldiers, over control of planet Earth, and, you know, maybe we're being taken off planet to the moon, to other, wherever. You know, humans are being farmed as a resource because we don't have the ability to be... We don't have the psychic ability to perceive them. They could like, because of the way we are created, our consciousness, our perception, they can manipulate, put thoughts in our head. They can prevent us from perceiving them. You know, they might have like you know, shape shifting. You know, remember there was that 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 that, that woman who on the, on the plane she she was screaming about someone. I think she saw a, a reptilian, uh, and you know how you know. Uh, and that's what she was trying to point out. And and later on, you know, she, she was being handled by this person. She saw someone. She, I, I, she, I think the the shape shifting or that that thing failed to work on her for a brief moment. But this is how they can control us. They can control us through through consciousness. They can project thoughts into our consciousness and then they can make us think they're like humans when they're not uh, you know humans are a useful humans are a useful tool you know we are like biobots we are like so i don't know man this is really really not a good <laughs> good situation uh, we should look at ourselves just like any other of the animals on this planet. We are not really that different, but there are intelligences living in this planet and in this universe who can mask their presence that we don't know that they exist. They can, they can hide. And through this, uh, through hiding, they can manipulate and control us and get us to do things. We are an intelligent bot. You know?